the formidable robot. Mugen. If you don't know what that means, go search it up. It's something that I love and appreciate. The creativity of the almost endless range of characters to fight as, the community, the love and passion, etc. There's lots there, and it's something that I genuinely feel is the epitome of internet collaboration. I especially love the variations of specific characters, like the ungodly amount of Ronald edits such as Evil Donald, Dark Ronald, and so many more. I like to play Mugen a lot, usually with my friends. I like to pair up the most equally insanely OP characters against each other and see who wins. Usually out of boredom, I like to download some new characters. One day, I decided to go and find any Ronald variants that nobody has heard of. After a lot of searching, I ended up finding an interesting Ronald variant named, Liquid Ronald. Instead of being a color swap like usual, it was instead something unexpected. It was the regular Ronald sprite, but with the liquify tool used on it to hell and back, to such a degree that you couldn't make out his face at all. He was insanely OP. All of his moves were insta-kills. If you threw one successful punch or kick or whatever at most characters, they would drop dead instantly, and Liquid Ronald would win. Obviously there were times I lost, and Liquid Ronald was defeated. He wasn't unbeatable, you just had to get somebody more or equally OP. But it was still very interesting. I would get a friend to play as whatever character they would think was going to beat me, then I would pick Liquid Ronald and win within a matter of seconds. I had actually loved this character. All of his sprites were just lazy edits of normal Ronald, but his comical amounts of power made it all worthwhile. This is the important part. A few weeks ago, I connected some controllers to two monitors and invited my friend over to play Mugen using said controllers. We had decided that it could be interesting to play it this way instead of just doing it while being in different houses. He had only usually come over to play Mario Kart, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, Mario Wonder, etc. This was new to an extent. I will not be revealing my friend's name, as I don't want to reveal any personal information about him. We had been consistently playing on and off, switching between characters. My friend had been consistently playing as Peppa Pig, who was surprisingly OP, and Homer. He did sometimes pick other characters, but it was usually just those two. I had been picking characters that would be a fair fight against his picks, up until one point, where I selected Liquid Ronald. My friend let out an audible groan upon seeing I had picked him, and I laughed. He picked Peter Griffin. He was immediately one he had killed. I decided to go get a sprite. My friend had picked Dark Donald, which meant this was probably going to be a longer fight. On my way to the fridge, I heard my friend yelling at me to hurry up. Once I got back into the room, we pressed play. Though unlike all the other times where I played Liquid Ronald, something interesting happened. He seemingly looked down in what looked like shame, and whenever he got hit, he would just take it. He would vibrate left and right for a few frames before going back to looking down in shame. I was angrily mashing the buttons. The more I mashed, something began to happen around Liquid Ronald. Text. White text that read, stop it, or, I don't want to, would surround him. Safe to say, me and my friend were very confused by now. The music was completely absent. If I remember correctly, I think the stage we picked was a Minecraft forest, for those who will end up asking under the comments and replies of this post. But suddenly, the controls started to work, and the music came back in. I actually had a surprisingly fair fight, as Liquid Ronald and Dark Donald were both equally OP. I won. After I had won, Liquid Ronald went back to looking down in shame. The white text appeared again. Is it over? I was actually really interested in continuing to use Liquid Ronald against those who were equally OP, instead of just being unfair for the laughs. So, we went again. This time, I had played as Evil Donald, and my friend picked Liquid Ronald instead. I actually lost this time, and I shook his hand in respect. Liquid Ronald was staring directly at the screen now. Please stop. My friend and I became interested in the white text that would appear, so we speculated on what it meant. We didn't come to an answer, but it intrigued us nonetheless. 
we continued fighting, thinking that the text would form a sentence after a certain point. Also it was just fun, obviously. I played as Sonic.exe, because he was there, and he played as Liquid Ronald. We also spawned Freddy Fazbear in. After Liquid Ronald destroys both of them, the white text appears again. Why won't you stop? Isn't this enough for you? Various rounds later. After some rounds, the white text would stop appearing. We, sometimes, would spawn Liquid Ronald in as a bot. Every time we did this, he simply wasn't there, and the stage was entirely devoid of Liquid Ronald. Eventually, one of the times after we won, I realized my sprite can was empty, and I went to go get a Kool-Aid jammer from the fridge instead. I walked back into the room to see my friend ushering me to come over and look at what was happening. Liquid Ronald was inside of what seemed to be a dilapidated home. Not abandoned, but the house looked very unkempt. The room was very pixelated. Liquid Ronald was down to his knees, and his head down, seemingly in shame like last time. But his head suddenly jerks up with the sound of a bell toll. The bell toll would continuously play as the scene went on. The white text appeared once more. I am held by strings. I would mash buttons over and over, attempting to get a response. I can see correctly. All I see is death. All I hear are screams. All I feel is pain. Another long pause. After the pause, the bell toll began to become louder and lower pitched. Why? You find this entertaining, don't you? The bells became quicker in succession, overlapping into a bassy rumble. Killing us over and 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 over. The noise got louder as the text lingered on the screen. Suddenly all the bells stopped. Stop it. I don't want to fall into the dark. I'm scared. After more button mashing, the game crashed on us. A loud mess of high-pitched tones, screams, static glass shattering and other loud noises accompanied it. The game window closed, and my backdrop was turned into the image of the dilapidated house, just as pixelated. After restarting the game, we found that Liquid Ronald was gone. He was nowhere to be found. However, the download link for Liquid Ronald still existed. Or at least I thought. It was deleted. It was nowhere to be found. No matter how hard I searched, the link was gone. The download and everything related to Liquid Ronald was gone. I decided to post this because I didn't know what else to do. I searched on every search engine, even resorting to Yahoo, but I could not find any answers. If you have any, comment on this post. I need answers.